Hello everybody, hello, hello, and welcome, well, welcome to Living Talks with Glow. My name is Privili Kambi. If it's your first time on this channel, please do not forget to subscribe on the box down below. It is really important. And for everyone that has been around liking, commenting, and subscribing, please know that I really do appreciate you. I appreciate every comment. I appreciate everything that you guys have been doing on this channel. And I see it with my two eyes. <laughs> Thank you so much. Before I get carried away, today's scripture is taken from the book of Isaiah 43, verse 17 to 19, that says, Do not remember the former things, nor consider the things of old. Behold, I will do a new thing. Now it shall spring forth. Shall you not know it? I will never, okay, I will even make a road in the wilderness and rivers in the, in the desert. Let me read again. Do not remember the, the former things, nor consider the things of old. Behold, I will do a new thing. Now it shall spring forth. Shall you not know it? I will even make a road in the wilderness and river in the desert. Hallelujah. I will even make a road in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. I love this, 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 this last phrase because um, you are, the Lord will make a road in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I wanted to encourage you today that God will do a new thing in your life. I want you to believe again that God will do a new thing in your life. As long as you are alive, as long as you are breathing, the Lord will do a new thing in your life. Do not count the past mistakes. Do not count the things that have yeah do not concentrate on the former things concentrate on the things that god is doing right now in your life the scripture says do not remember the former things nor consider the things of old do not remember the former things do not keep meditating on your current suffering on your current state of poverty the current state of this um limitation and you're like oh lord i feel stuck the lord is trying to tell you that i will do a new thing the lord will do a new thing in your life and it shall it shall spring forth what the lord is calling us to do here what i believe the scripture is trying to tell us that the lord will do greater but he has given us an instruction that we should not remember the former things what it means by do not remember the former things you are facing this specific challenge and you are trusting god for more but because you have been stuck in this position for too long you are questioning god you're saying god i'm looking at the uh, at the record here i'm looking at the record of my family members i'm looking at the record of, of of this and this person in my life i don't think i do qualify for this grace I don't think I do qualify because nobody in my family has ever attained this grace. Nobody in my family has ever gotten to this point. But the Lord is telling you that do not remember the former things. Yes, you've been hurt in the past. Yes, you have been deserted. Yes, you have been wounded. Yes, you. Th th there is a lot of witchcraft in your family. Many people have said things about you that yourself never even knew about. When you were born, certain words were speaking upon your life. So Certain uh, incantations were set upon your life that you will not prosper. The Lord is telling you today that you should believe him because he will do a new thing. In that hell that you are trusting him for, the Lord will do a new thing. The Lord will do a new thing. Don't you know that the Lord is able to create, oh my God, the Lord is able to make a road in the wilderness. When you are in the wilderness, you don't feel like you are going anywhere. When you feel like you are stuck, when you feel like you are stagnant, everything about you is stuck. Your finances are stuck. Your health is stuck. In your family, everybody is going around in circles. The Lord is telling us in Isaiah 43 verse 18 to 19 that the Lord will make a road in that wilderness. You have have to believe him stop making account of the things that you have done in the past stop making account of the things that could hold you back the lord is encouraging you today to believe him because he's able to make a river in a desert for those of you that have ever walked in the desert you will know how dry it is how dry and 
hard it is. The Lord is telling you that even in this hard days that you are walking into, the Lord is able to create a river, a river that never runs dry. The Lord is able to provide. The Lord is able to provide because remember the Lord created everything and everything that we have comes from God. Everything we will ever have will always come from God. There is nothing we can tap out stuff on the church chest for and say, I acquired this. I remember I was having a conversation with a the, with the beloved um, sister of mine not too long ago and I was saying, the Lord keeps reminding me that I'm living what I'm living today is as a result of past prayers. What I'm living today is a result of the prayers that my mother made, the prayers that my father made. What I'm living today is not about the prayers that I'm accumulating, what I'm doing today. The prayers that I'm praying today will cover me for tomorrow. The prayers that I'm doing today will cover me for the way forward. But what do I do in my journey with God? Irregardless of the fact that I feel stuck in this wilderness. The Bible tells us in the book of, 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 of Psalm 23 verse 5 that even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, that I will fear no evil. The Bible is reminding us once again that if you walk in the wilderness, the Lord is able to make a road. The Lord is able to make a way where there seems to be no way. The Lord is able to open doors where you feel like it's not possible. But what the Lord is asking you is to forget the former things. What the Lord is asking you is to forgive. What the Lord is asking you is to let go. What the Lord is asking you is to trust him again. What the Lord is asking you is to allow him to govern your hearts, to govern your mind and to be in control of you. What the Lord is asking you is to trust him, to believe in his ability. Remember, he promised you that, hallelujah, that he will create a river in the desert, that he will create a road in the wilderness, even when you feel like you're going around in circle. He said, behold, I will do a new thing. Behold, I will do a new thing. So I want to remind you today, as this month of, we are currently in the month of April, Keep believing on this day that you're watching me today. Start believing God for a new thing. On this day that you're watching me today, remember, do not hold on to the things of the past because God is about to do a new thing. Forgive that person that has hurt you. Forgive that person that has offended you. And you that has offended other people, be willing to go ahead and, and make amends. And remember, God is a God, is a good God. He's a good father. He's a good friend. He will never fail you. He will never forsake you. So keep believing in him. Keep trusting him. And he will do great and wonderful things for you. Stay blessed. Bye.